Welcome. Welcome, everybody. How are you doing today? It is so very nice to have you here. And today I wanted to speak a little bit about past, about the capacity of the nervous system to be here, about awakening, embodiment and freedom. So presence, our true nature, is always here. And the only reason why we don't know that at any given moment is because our attention is not at rest. And that means that our attention is moving with the arising past. This ability to be here is so crucial, is so essential, the ability to know presence at any given moment, so essential for awakening, for embodiment and for freedom. So when I speak about the past, I'm really speaking about unmet, unfinished tendencies. So what is a tendency? A tendency is an imprint, a belief, an idea that is clinging to an individual. A tendency is really a misunderstanding in which we believe that who we are or what we are looking for, presence, peace, fulfillment, love, tenderness, that that is not already here. And these tendencies, you know, if they remain in the unconscious, if they are not met, they have the power to move us from incarnation to incarnation. So these tendencies live in the unconscious and they arise when the circumstances are right. And I'm sure you know that in your own life, right, that you're going about and everything is fine and there's not much going on. And then suddenly, seemingly out of nowhere, the past arises. So there's reactivity, there's thoughts, there's feelings, emotions, sensations, right? So that means the circumstances, the inner circumstances, the outer circumstances must have been right for it to arise. And now it's present, right? And when the past arises like that, it shows up in our physiology. So it shows up as a feeling, sensation, thought, emotion. And so often our nervous system doesn't have the capacity to be here so it also goes out of habit into fight, flight, freeze, overwhelm or collapse. And that causes even more reactivity. So that means rather than meeting and experiencing the arising past, there is even more reactivity present. So why is it so important to meet the arising past, right? This is really crucial, you know, when we t talk about past, when we talk about tendencies, why is it so important? You know, the tendency, the past, it's really, it's a belief and it's a vibration, right? So when unmet, it's just going to recharge, it's just going to repeat and it's going to continue, right? And when in a moment you have the willingness and capacity to be here, when you say, okay, let me just be here, let me just meet this, right? What you're really doing is you're meeting that past on the level of vibration, on the level of sensation, right? And as you're meeting it, you are recognizing it for what it really is, which is truth and freedom, right? You are recognizing its true nature, so that past has the ability to return to its true nature, right? You are seeing it for what it really is. Wow, it's just really space or tenderness or presence, right? And that is what really stops, what really ends the arising past. And of course, you know, here, um, naturally we know how important that is, how important that's going to be for awakening, for embodiment and freedom when our attention doesn't have to move with the arising past. So to grow the capacity of our nervous system to be here, 
and we have been speaking about this many times already, you know, we first need to recognize um, when the past is present, but we also need to learn more about the nervous system. You know, when we learn more about it, then we really learn the skills of how to be here so we can help it, right? So rather than when past arises and the nervous system habitually just goes into fight, flight, or freeze, or overwhelm, or collapse, that, that you know, we have the skill to remind it on how to be present. We have the skill to teach it, to, to remind it on how to be here so that we can experience the arising past. So I will be speaking about this and, and more, of course, about the direct experience of presence and about, you know, awakening embodiment and freedom and about how to support the sensitive nervous system uh, in inquiry in our upcoming programs. And I hope to see you there.